Hello. Ooh, we got echoes. One second, please. While we figure out technology. Hope everybody's doing okay today. I need to have my screens on so I can see things, but I have to figure out where the mute button is. There we go. Okay. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Uh, obviously, Lurland's still under the weather and uh, still not feeling well. Uh, yesterday was a bad day, and today was just is just a bad day as well. So, we're you know we have good days and bad days, and some of them are um, you know just moderately good. So, uh, we went to the have the CT scan yesterday, and she's. We we're just waiting for, got through that at least, and uh, hopefully we'll have an answer in the near future for everybody, including ourselves. So, yeah, um, we're going to be working on finishing off this quilt, and it's the Quilt for Kids 4 Patch Quilt that uh, the link's in the description if you're looking for it. Thank you to everybody who has commented and sent messages and is watching the video, the older videos and everything else. We really appreciate it. So thank you for all your well wishes and everything. I know that uh, Laurelyn is, is very happy to, uh, to see all those, those messages and I'm sure she's probably laying in bed watching this right now. So, hi. Anyway. Um, Uh, anything to say? All the w birthday wishes? Or did you turn off your camera? Camera was off when I came in. Uh, I see. Wanted to say thank you all for wishing me a happy birthday. It was, yeah. it was very nice of everyone to, uh, to leave those comments and those messages on, uh, on Facebook. Fern, we're waiting for results from the CT scan. That's all I can tell you at this point. Thank you all for the for the hap for the happy birthday wishes. <clears throat> yeah, happy birthday. Thank you. A long time ago now, but I did have a nice birthday. I uh, went for a drive with Pop. And we ended up getting food from a place that I really like around here. Mm -hmm. It's called Jungle Gyms, and they have a really good uh, burger called the Headhunter. And it's a very big burger. <laughs> <laughs> it's very big, very uh, tasty. Where is it? It's uh, in uh, New Glasgow. So about 15 minutes away. Yeah, it was very good. Oh, it was, Donna. Uh, it was very good. You have a border to do, so. I do. I'm going to slink off camera now. Okay, have fun. <laughs> yeah, we did have a good time. We had a conversation and talked all about... Uh, all about his work stuff and having fun and games and all kinds of stuff. So I'm just going to cut these borders, just making sure they're in the right place, size-wise. I did measure it before stream because, you know, I was bored waiting here for half an hour, so probably should have just started half an hour early, but... Oh, don't put that on me. I didn't. I just said we probably should have. <laughs> Don't move the ruler. There's buttons I can push. Goes in the floor pile. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I can only do so much. Got to show up on time or early, right? Half hour early is always good. 
It's like an interview. I show up on time. So yeah, we really appreciate you guys hanging out with us today. And uh, I know I measured this one way. I just don't remember which way I measured it. I think it was this way. Yep, look at that. Almost fits. Thank you all for the well wishes, for sure. It's a very windy day today. Hi, Tiffany, Tiffany's Quilting Life. Thanks for coming out today. How's work going? Work is busy. We've got lots of things happening in the in the company and lots of processes and projects and all kinds of fun and wonderful things that we do in IT. So yeah, if you wouldn't mind, please hit the like and thumbs up button. That would be wonderful. Yeah, work work is work is good. And I've got a great team there, so it uh, it's helpful. Hi, Sherlock Sows. Not saying everybody's name. I apologize. I'm not uh, not as fast at this as as Laurelin is. Plus, I'm starting to work early right away, so didn't want to. You know, hold everybody up from all the exciting stuff. We know we're here. Awesome. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Sheila D. Another happy belated birthday for the Munchkin. They are appreciated. Yeah, so thanks for joining on our Facebook group. Uh, it's uh, been a very busy group over the last little while. That's where I've been posting all of our updates. Oh, what would be really exciting would be if Lorlin made an appearance. Um, she will not be making an appearance as far as I know. She is, as I said, in bed trying to get over some of the pain issues she's having today. So She's not really in a condition. Yeah. On the at the yeah, she is not in a condition to be in public. She didn't even want to go to the hospital the other day, so. I got a, a something that everybody doesn't know. Pins are sharp. Don't stick yourself with them. Um, medical school or something. <laughs> Thank you, Shan Charlotte Vanderwerp, for the tip. Appreciate it. Pointy stuff hurts when it goes in skin. Got it. Yep. That's the way it goes. Well, if I bleed on it, then it, you know, it's it's got part of me in it, so... Do we turn this on today? It looks like it's on. Actually, no. No, it is not on. But now I know where the button is. <laughs> I 
yeah, we'll do that. Not a problem. We just don't know anything, so we can't share anything. Let's do it the other way. Uh, then the pins are on the wrong side. No, we'll just do it this way. This sewing thing is so complex. Um, yeah, basically, she doesn't have the strength to do a lot of things that she would normally do. Use clips instead of pins. If I knew where the clips were, I might have used the clips. So we're just going to sew down. Don't sew over the pin. Sew over the pin. Heard. That's what I heard. I said don't. Don't? Oh, okay. You're no fun. You're not late, you're just in time. There's no such thing as late. There's a such thing as not showing up. That's that's mm. the bad part. But, you know, you're not late. Just in time. Make sure you hit that pin with your needle. Mm, I heard that was bad. So everybody knows I have sewn once before. I did this whole thing once before, so. So we'll get through this. I am not professional by any stretch of the imagination. I will never claim to be a professional. Well, it's sewing anyway. Samir, is that camera out of focus? It's moving. Is that better or worse? Um, okay, everybody with the glasses, you know, when you go to the optometrist, and he says, it is one uh, or two? <laughs> okay, it looks like it's better. Okay. And <laughs> I'm not doing it for money, though. Three or four. Yep. Oh, being professional doesn't mean you don't make mistakes. That's for that's for sure. Yeah, that part of the eye exam where you're sitting there going. I really can't tell if it's any better or worse. And you just flipped it three times. What's one or two? I'm getting the wind drifter large pattern. I'm not sure what that is, but okay. That must be like when there's lots of snow. And the wind drifts it onto the driveway. Thank you, Tina. I'm just trying to have some fun, hang out with you guys. Take the boss's mind off the quilting business a little bit. work going Marcus it's going well working on a bunch of things and 
He's working on a bunch of things, apparently. Yeah. None of which I can give details due to the NDA. But they did launch their game, so he can talk about that. Are we coming in, in a, am I coming in April? There's, maybe, yes, possibly, I don't know yet. <laughs> There's a good chance that I'll be in Ontario in April. At some point. This is going to be one wavy border. That's okay. game we can play which game the guess when Kent's gonna be in Ontario game I believe she might be meaning the game that uh, that the company I work for has launched oh yeah so did you tell everybody what the name of the game was so they could all go buy it and play it no I, I haven't yet <laughs> oh okay uh, it's called Leap, and it's a first-person shooter game. It's a Did everybody hear that? It's The game's name is Leap, and it's a first-person shooter game? It's really fast-paced, and... Uh, Leap. L-E-A-P. As in jump. As in jump. Available for PlayStation 5, Xbox, and. Uh, do I use my DDR mat for this game, Marcus? No, you do not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not supported. Uh, That'd be an interesting game don't mechanic. Think you tested that. <laughs> yeah, so most likely it doesn't work that way, um, uh, Allison. So. Probably want to try something else. Yep, the game yes, is the game on is on Steam. Though it is flagged as over 18, right? It's a mature game. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> On Steam, it's is where it's stole, is sold. Yeah, it's a good Steam game. It actually is quite fun. I've I have played it and uh, spent some time on the game, and uh, not a huge amount. I'm not a first person player, so I don't spend a huge amount of time playing that stuff. I've been playing Diablo Four for the last couple of days. Thanks, Sherlock. That's great. Yeah, I'm proud of him, too. Doing all the things that uh, that he wants to do in his, in his career, and that's amazing. Exclamation dono is the donation link. Yeah, should be working. Let's give it a try. If not, I did update it in the description uh, for the for the last stream. So Do you want to grab the link out of the description and? Okay. Nothing compares to Duke Nukem. Yeah. There are many FPS players that will disagree with you, but most of those FPS players weren't alive when Duke Nukem came out, so I wouldn't worry too much about it.
Mario Kart used to make you motion sick. Oh no. I'm lucky I don't have that issue. Yeah, I... We're working on the borders for the four patch quilt for kids that I did started last or the weekend before last. Sorry, I was at the hospital last weekend. Um, boy, was that an adventure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we uh, we're just doing the the two border sets to go around this to finish this off so that I can give it to my long armor to quilt when she feels better, I guess. Or I'll do it and. We'll all have a good laugh. So LL has good days and bad days. The good days are about a four. The bad days are about a two. And that's being optimistic. Yeah. So. Ooh, nice choice, Kelly. A. I. That's. Ooh, we played that as my, well. One of my personal favorite games. Infinity Original Sin 2. Yeah, it's it's not about choosing a pattern. It's there's something on the long arm I can't take off, so Thank you so much, Janine Thank D. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you. So helpful. Nadine, thank you for watching and listening in the background. Appreciate you. Anybody who's sent anything to the quilt shop lately, it has been, some of, some of the uh, letters have been received, so thank you very much. Um, in fact, there is a, um, there's one of the uh, World Quilt blocks that came the other day amazing paper pieced maple leaf um, oh it's so beautiful yeah it's really really nice so well I hope you've been having fun with that Sylvia yeah paper pieced very nice um, maybe M Marcus can run in and grab it so that we can share it I think we were going to share it today or I'll go in and Grab it and Marcus can sew. <laughs> Funnily enough, he got up from the chair and is going inside. It's really hard to make a decision. We talked, thank you Anonymous. Um, uh, we talked about this quilt for almost a week before we decided to do it. Um, you know, what is something that we could do that's common for everybody and isn't gonna be too expensive and easy, relatively easy for a noob to do, so. Because I am anything but, anything but professional at this point. Uh, that one. Nope, that's the wrong one. That's the right one. See, you sit in this chair, you forget everything you learned from all the other times, so. Which button do you push? Not that one. Oh, I'm sure she'll love it. She actually really enjoyed watching the, the stream last week and and uh, enjoyed the humor that we had. Yeah, we could probably, in fact, I know how to, I can do ha some of that right, right away, so that shouldn't be too bad. Sasselet, yes, she did, and yes, we, uh, we have it here and I don't know where it is. Actually, I lie, I can see it right here.
One moment, please. Making sure this is the right one, yeah, this is it. So here it is. So, you guys can't see that because you can see my arms. Gotta switch cam- Where's Marcus? He's supposed to be switching cameras. <laughs> So here it is. So yeah, she this is this is amazing. So thank you, Gwenny. I know that uh, Laura Lynn really loves it. It, it. it it was close enough for me to find, so it's uh, you know it's uh, something that she cherishes. A sewing machine block. There's lots of blocks up there. All over the place. Natalie J, no problem. Thank you for coming in and joining us today. Yeah, this is the first, this back here, where, yep, that way, is the, uh, is the first around the world quilt. If you wanted to do the, partake in the second one, we do have that set up. You can go to the website, uh, the guild site, and there's a link there, or you can go to the Facebook page, and Kali's pinned the, the link for it there as well. Yeah, so last weekend I was planning to stream and finish this quilt off then. And uh, so what happened with Laura Lynn is, is that she's got, she had a, re a reaction to the, um, to the uh, medication that she was taking. And she's got big welts and uh, blisters on her hands from it. So we were there to try and figure out what those blisters were. Uh, they have started to dissipate now that she's not taking that medication any longer and um, Ultimately things will hopefully get better for her from that perspective uh, Okay so. so this one is from Linda Lindsay. I don't know whether I'm holding it the right way up or the wrong way up, but that's what she sent. Oh, that's pretty. So that's the first one that we got, and it was a, a while back, so. Uh, anything new on <coughs> LL? Um, she's resting. Uh, she, as I said earlier, she has good days and bad days, and right now, the majority of them are bad. But uh, yesterday was okay. Today has not been great at all. So she is in bed resting. I'm hoping she right was. now. Was she? No. She watching or is she? Uh, seems like it. Okay. And there's the paper pieced maple leaf block. Just amazing. So yeah, that's that's another one of the the blocks, and then we got this as well, and it has some printed stuff on it for us, like up in the top corner. It's actually the mom and pop quilt shop, Sophie and Munchkin. I'm not sure when that was, but that's us, so very cute. So yeah, 
those are the, the things that have come in so far. Vicky, she can eat sometimes and it'll stay down, and then other times, eating the same thing, she'll uh, be physically ill. Physically ill. Sophie's doing fine, Mike. I'm a pro at suggestion. Nice. Using my bardic skills. Internal joke. <laughs> so eventually we'll get through this. I'm doing my best, Mike, to get her better and, you know, be a stand-in for her until she comes back. I believe she is watching, Nadine. Bye, Kelly. See you later. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. How are Marcus and I doing? Well, every day is a challenge. You know, when you can't do something for somebody that you love, it's always hard to just sit and watch them struggle and, and flounder. So psychologically, we're doing okay. Wow, Anonymous, thank you so much for the hundred dollar tip. Yes, um, thank you very much, Anonymous. We're, we're, I, I know from my perspective, I can't speak for Marcus, but uh, I'm keeping it together, mostly. Um, you know, some days are easier than others. How close are we? We're almost at a 12 hour. <laughs> I'm not sure how that's gonna happen, but hey. We're uh, about fifty-two and a half dollars away from a twelve-hour. Has LL been tested for EPI? I don't know what EPI is, Tiffany. Um, so you'd have to give me more details. You can send that directly to me if you want and we can talk to the doctor about it. If we ever get a chance to talk to the doctor. Bye Sylvia, have a great time. Oh, Lucy 7B, if it's anything, it'll be Munchkin and I trying to figure out how to do a 12 hour, but it probably won't be sewing. <laughs> we'll have to do something different for you guys. Endocratic pancreatic insuff endocrine pancreatic insufficiency. Interesting. I'll have to uh, have Munchkin look it up on his phone. Yes, I'm currently doing so. All of our Twitch chat doctors, thank you. So after I finish this, I'm going to have to run in. Uh, do you want to come and talk to people? Please. Mm -hmm. You made a mess? Yeah. Awesome. Come talk to people. Okay. I have to take a step away. I'll be right back, but Marcus is going to entertain you for a few minutes. It was the wind. Uh -huh. sure. Hello, everyone. Nah. 
take a look at Pop's scene. Uh, my birthday went well. I, <clears throat> I spent some time with uh, one of my friends and I, uh, I, uh, I went on a little bit of a trip to go get dinner with my father. And Mike, that would be entertaining, but that would be very mean, and I don't want to do that to my dad. <laughs> but it would teach him to leave me uh, mostly unattended. <laughs> I don't think the... Yeah, it's not even on. It's got many buttons and knobs and... That thing scares me. <laughs> the creative you are asking about the game that uh, I worked on well it's called leap and it is a uh, fast-paced first-person shooter that uh, you've got things like a grappling hook and uh, Looks like this hasn't been trimmed up yet. <laughs> you see, with a computer, I understand what the buttons do, and a computer's less likely to burn me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, as for what part I played in the creation of Leap, um, I've done QA, uh, quality assurance. I've done uh, modding support, as you're able to make your own modifications for the game. And I have done a bit of work behind the scenes. More details than that I can't really go into, but I'm, I've quite enjoyed my time working on the project. Yeah, I, I am working with what I love. This is... Pop's actually done a really great job. Uh, it's L-E-A-P on Steam. Leap. Well, I suppose I might as well try and figure out how to turn this thing on. No, it's not that dial. It made a click. Oh, it's got settings for different types of fabric. I don't know what kind of fabric this is. <laughs> Pull that out. Hmm. 
Yeah, that is, uh, it is plugged in. Oh, it, it's got a red light now. Where is it? You see, this is why Pop's the one handling the handling the sewing side of things because I get very cautious with machines that I don't fully understand. Okay, where's the I can turn it, but I don't see a marker of where it's supposed to... Uh, Teresa, I don't actually have any puzzles out here at the moment that aren't completely uh, done. I believe we still have the owl puzzle out here. Uh, I'm just gonna, just gonna put it back to where it was. There! <laughs> uh, as for the settings on the iron, it, uh, it has a dial, but it doesn't have like an arrow to say where the current setting is. Yeah, Quinny, I, I like to, I like to play with dials and, and play with gadgets and. Oh, Pop left his phone here. Wonder if I can change his background to something embarrassing. Links are giving you a 404 error. Ah, uh, Mike, the link in the bot appears to be wrong. Let me go put the correct one in chat. Just a moment. In here. I, well, I just, I would, I just put the, the donation link in chat. Oh, that's awesome. Because the bot is wrong. And they don't have the ability to fix the bot out here. The seams on your block, like on the, on the barter look really nice. Apparently Sass has lost her internet, so she'll try to come back if she can. Are we sure? Yeah, I'm not sure if we're safe yet. <laughs> Are you fixing the bot? Yeah, I'm fixing the bot right now. So you could talk to the people at least. Well, I used all of my material of causing mischief and not knowing how to use an iron. No, seriously, I, I, I can't figure out how to turn that thing on. It's on. It is on. <laughs> well, that 
that's embarrassing. <laughs> And just went on like a five minute thing of I don't know how to turn this thing on. <laughs> well, that would explain why I can't figure out how to turn it on. It was already on. <laughs> if that works. I feel so silly. <laughs> like I know how to use the iron once it's actually on. <laughs> Now I have to come up with a 12 hour plan, Marcus. Hey. For, I'm I'm not ironing it on the mat. I'm using this ironing board that Mum made that is on the mat. You done over there? Just trying to make sure it's set up right, dude. You didn't get the other sides cut and pinned? No. Nope. Uh oh. Of course, now it's doing it as both. Perfect. I'll have to figure that out. Yeah, he finished he finished this one off and now but he only did one side. Yep. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Sorry. It's hard to find a good help. Yes, I have to iron the other side. Marcus was sort of half helpful. That was my goal. Can't be too helpful. Why not? One day farm. <laughs> oh, for who? Me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Donna, I'm not entirely sure because apparently it was on. It was on the whole time. I plugged it in like an hour, half an hour ago, 40 Is minutes ago. Is it really ago? just plug in and 
Yes. There is no on button. I was looking for a switch. There is no on button. And I couldn't actually feel the heat coming off of it without, you know, touching the metal part. So I decided not to touch the metal part. <laughs> exactly, Mike. If I'm too helpful, then it's always expected of me. It's always expected of you, no matter what. Darn. But I don't get right, the long armor can fix. See, I don't, I don't subscribe to that theory, Heli. I'll ask you over and over and over again until you get it right. Yeah, he's relentless. <laughs> Yeah, Marcus likes to sigh whenever work is assigned. <laughs> That's not true. It's either sigh or rolls his eyes, one of the two. Sometimes you get both. Sometimes. It really depends on the work I'm assigned. Hey, Depth Free Quilter. Keep measuring this to get a number that will stick in my head. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing Marcus is, is drama. <laughs> I'm glad someone appreciates my dramatic talents. <laughs> no, Mike, he doesn't mumble under his breath. He actually verbally um, comes out and says things. Oh yeah, no, f no fear when it comes to talking back. <laughs> oh, I don't feel bad for him. Yeah, I like that. don't feel bad for me. I. I have two parents that love me very much. Though I heard you were inspecting my seams earlier. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh-huh. <laughs> Did you just get 52? What? <laughs> Mike's donations? Oh. Did you? I don't know. Did we get another donation that I missed? If we did, I apologize. That, that's not true, Mike. Mike, you were the one that suggested that I rip them out. And I said, no, that would be me. That would be mean. Yeah, it would. He threatened to. Okay. Well, thank you, Mike, for donating.
Yeah, ten minutes ago, Mike donated a hundred dollars. Well, thank you very much, Mike. Appreciate it. There's always the replay, Marcus. There's always the replay. And the fact that mom was watching, just to make sure, she told me right away, she, she snitched on you. <laughs> on what? Thank you, Practically Creative. She is watching right now, so if you wanted to say something to her or some uh, or anything for that matter, just you know, go ahead, type it into the chat, and she will see it. What did she snitch on me on? About the fact that you were inspecting my work. Oh. Inspector detector. Yeah, and I also said it looks really good. I was told to be entertaining. <laughs> when does that start? Uh, when I try and figure out how an iron works for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> because I have my head down and I'm looking at the iron, I don't catch the... The red the light? message. The red light or the donation. What? So what is the outcome of you using her scissors cutting the paper? Absolutely zero because those were safe scissors and I knew all along that they were safe scissors. So, um, yeah. But thanks, Mike, for the, the donation that day. I really appreciate the two bucks. <laughs> Oh, we know he was out. He, we know it was him. <laughs> it was hilarious. Thank you. It's great when the community helps you make content. No, but uh, the, the fun part was is we were talking about it after the fact. And Laura Lynn was smiling, which is not something she gets a lot of time to do. So, yeah, so hopefully we'll get answers in the next week or so as to what the, the results of the CT scan were. And once we have that, we'll be able to let you guys know what our recovery plans are. And if it comes back inconclusive, we'll have to have another discussion with the doctors. Hopefully that doesn't mean 12 hours at the ER. Because that was a day, I'll tell you. Big squishy hugs, big squishy hugs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they won't let us in with a camera. But, yeah. 12 hours at the ER. Uh, Heli, they told us one or two days, but I expect one or two weeks. But I'm hoping for better than that. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Lena. I hope you're doing okay. change anything just stay the way you are
Yeah, no cameras in the hospital. But thankfully we don't have to deal with HIPAA. I think that's the US one, isn't it? I didn't call, though. I didn't call Vicky. It wasn't me. I can't. I did not do that. Unless you're talking to somebody else. don't get an answer soon there'll be a carload of angry Americans and one crazy Australian headed your way that should be entertaining um, I'm I'm actually hoping that that happens can you sung like LL no I can't do that I wish I could Yeah, the, there's also privacy issues, Wendy, about filming people in the, in the hospital. Not everybody enjoys the fact that they're in the hospital. But we have met some interesting people while we were there waiting, which is always nice. Not that they were at their best either. But he's gonna call Vicky. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. I'm thank you for saying that I'm a good substitute as well. I'm not here to teach though, I'm just here to do, so I apologize. I will do a stream from my desk once I get all the cameras and everything set up over there for it and uh, we'll go from there and I'll maybe do some some interesting stuff with uh, computer generated uh, content for you guys. So we've almost got three sides of this done. And then we'll have to start again and do it again. So we have Marcus do all the ironing. No. So now we get to measure the next side. <laughs> Don't encourage him, Gwenny. Marcus could be Iron Man. Well, okay. Sure. We'll go look, we'll go with that. Forty-two and a quarter. 
The heater just kicked on. Exactly. That math doesn't make sense. Absolutely, that's why we curl it up so that it makes sense. Thank you, Vicky. Oh, it's it's not that bad in here today. The wind is a little bit for snickety, so it's taking some extra heat out of the building. It's not too bad. Yeah, so if it's if it's zero degrees there, it's definitely spring here. I think it was one yesterday. That being said, we did have a snowstorm yesterday. But it's mostly gone. So that's good, snow disappears. It's a good question, Mike. I haven't looked at the actual totals for just the shop. I think we're probably 30% better. But I'm not exactly positive. Thank you, Nadine. Kelly, if you're asking me questions about quilting, we have problems. I'm going based on memory. What did Laura Lynn do? This is, this is what I ask myself every time I put a needle in, pin in. Um, she's had... Sass's Sass internet is out. So she's unable to join us at the moment. I think she was just tired. And decide to go to sleep but that's that's me so generally I think what the what Laura Lynn said Heli about where to go you go one end other end middle and then fill in in between that's what I think I remember so that's what I'm doing I think the reason is is it gives you the uh, 
the ability to take out any slack as you're going along to make sure that the see I everybody everybody was paying attention when Laurelin said it too perfect see dear I do pay attention <laughs> may look like I'm sleeping over there. So we have to do this all over again. All four sides once more. Oh, it's funny, um, when she would be out here working, I'd be sitting here going, uh, pay attention, because I'm going to ask her questions later. How many boards will you put on? Borders. Oh. It says boards though. Yeah, that's the way that I'm interpreting it. How many borders will we put on? Just two. The thin one to create a frame and the thick one to size it up. There we go. That's okay. I just, when I looked at it, I was a little confused because I was like, did we do something with wood and I've forgotten or planned to do something with wood? No? Okay. Not that I can think of. Learning through osmosis. This is getting fixed. I'll tell you that. Dang chair. It didn't want to work. It's funny, the things that uh, Laura Lynn puts up with, I have no tolerance for. And in this case, the floor needs to be fixed in this area. Not very not very long it's not it's not the wheels issue heli it's the fact that the floor is wood boards and then we put something on top of it and it's still not sliding properly oh don't worry I will make sure that I have the boss's approval before I rearrange or do anything. Well, it's either Sass has no internet or Alice and Vander again. One of the two. Which I'm okay with if she did something wrong. Um, Heli, she doesn't have the energy to do anything. Quite literally does not. Uh, yo, Patty G. Yeah, we're probably gonna long arm it too. But we don't know yet for sure. I gotta figure out how to get the existing quilt off without a making a mess of it. Um, no need to be sorry. She just she has zero energy, quite literally. So everybody understands. She takes in food. She pushes food out the same place it went in on a regular basis. So she's. She's not actually eating food and keeping it down. So she's getting no nutrients. She has almost zero energy. She's losing lots of weight. Um, and while 
you know, losing weight makes you think that you look good. If you have no ability to move around or do anything, it's of zero value to you. She's exactly dehydrated and malnourished. Um, most definitely. So we're working with different things to try and get her food into her. Yesterday she had a muffin, which was amazing. She That's the most food she's had in her. This morning she had eggs, and I think she kept those down. Um, so it's just whenever is it so whenever she's eat she eats she can't actually process it and she just loses it so um and with that comes pain and with pain comes um other things uh vicky lemire it doesn't matter it could be water and she will bring it back up so it doesn't matter how does it go with the protein drink it depends on the time of day if she has it in the morning it's usually relatively good. If she has it in the evening or after, late afternoon, forget about it. Um, is she able to keep water down? Sometimes. It's, it's not cut or dry. Some days, like I said, some days are good and some days are not. So we just keep hoping and I keep trying to make things for her. And sometimes she can keep it down, sometimes she can't. I'm sorry that you had the problem or a problem similar that free quilter I, I don't wish this on anyone and I don't wish any of their families to have to go through it either it is not entertaining in any way shape or form and it is hard on the body and you know I hope that uh, that once we have an answer Lena K, yeah, it's no energy, no food. Um, we're working with Insure right now to see whether that will stay down, which it does sometimes. Thank you thank very you. much, Kimberly. Yeah, thank you, Kimberly, for uh, typing. We appreciate that when you're uh, uh, generally a lurker. It, exactly, Ellie. Uh, if there was things that we could do to help, we would be doing them. Absolutely. So we're doing what we can, when we can. They haven't ruled out anything yet. The CT scan is supposed to rule out things. Now, they did say, ultimately, that it wasn't either Crohn's or something along those lines. So that's a good thing. Have they checked to make sure a section, that a section of her intestine hasn't died? That's what the CT scan was for to do all the internal checking of that stuff and to check the blood vessels and everything around liver kidneys you know, all those things I think that timer needs to be changed Marcus uh, might be a semicolon instead of a col uh, comma Bautismo should be open. It's not commands, it's timers. Timers and then... Yeah. It doesn't matter whether it's water or not. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. between the uh, the two comments there it says go here to donate the should be a semicolon I guess try that I can't remember what the the one that 
separates two instances. But I think it's semicolon. The first time she tried a popsicle, it came up almost instantaneously. So, yes, we have. Hey, if we can find out that it's a gallstone and that's what's causing it, great. We can solve the problem, right? Go in, surgery could be done, whatever needs to be done, right? Can be done. But at this point, we don't know yet. And that's the hard part. On the good side of the popsicles, she couldn't eat them, but I could. So... <laughs> That's the good side. Got it? I, I tried it. Okay, that's all we need to do. Okay. I still don't know what you're trying to get me to do. But... Where the comma is between the two statements, uh... change it to a semicolon. Okay. Did you do that? Yes. Perfect. Instructions follow. Thank you very much, Auntie. You know, coming out of Lurk and, and making a statement like that, I really appreciate it. I, I Lurk a lot on the stuff I watch. So, I really appreciate it. So, the last, the when we were there for her hands at the hospital, the 12 hours last week, we did have a really good doctor who, uh, emergency doctor, who identified what the problem was and she had never seen it before with that product, so. And thank you for watching, all you lurkers, all you people who are coming in and, and giving Laura Lynn positive vibes. We really appreciate that. Pickle juice popsicles. I'll leave those for you, Mike. Just the sound of it's probably going to turn her stomach. They're trying to get her to eat things. <laughs> yeah, this is the antithesis not, of what we want. Not eat things. <laughs> well, we really appreciate that. Uh, all the love that we've been getting lately, is, it's been amazing, and uh, I know that, uh, that Laura Lynn is, is very humbled by the fact that you all are so generous with your time, your money, and, your, and, and just even your comments, because those are just as important to us. Well wishes. So we've even gone to the point of elect from a, an electrolytes perspective, just going to the, some of those um, fruit juice additions that you can get to for water. Like Mio. Like Mia, or Mio. Mio, Mio is it? M-I-O. M-I-O. Mio. Missing in operations. Yeah, so there's the first border. Yay, we're almost done. The first border is done. Yay. On to number two. Now do it again. <laughs> hmm. Now, the question is, what to do first? Oh, it probably needs ironing. What does? I just did that. Huh. Were you not paying? He's asleep at the switch, guys. He's already asleep. No, I was focused on the command. Which I still don't know if my jeans work. Yeah, you won't know until it goes off. Yeah, we normally do things a different way around here. I am not napping. She 
gonna be the close. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Who, Mike's ears? Thank you very much, Vicky, for sharing. Yeah, just know that everything that can be done is being done. We're not just sitting back idle on this. And we will win this battle that we're fighting. One way or the other. Yeah, I, I, until we get the final answer about back what it is, I'm not going to jump off any bridges and say that it isn't, though they don't think it is. So, because that should have been seen by the scope, apparently. So, beef stew. Mike, we aren't just sitting around. Nope, we're not. We're laying around, so there. Right? They did, I think they did an ultrasound the first time. Can't see what I'm doing now. Yes, they did. Yeah, I'm pretty positive they did. Oh, Hallie, I wish they would have done that last weekend. No, just coming out and watching the videos, that's all that we could ever ask of everybody here. Quite literally, it's amazing. Help. That didn't work either. <laughs> you put a colon, not a semicolon. No. I did both. Hmm. I put a semicolon in the place you told me to put a semicolon, and then I saw a formatting thing, so I put a colon. Now I have to research timers again. Well, both links are there, so. Yeah, well, the, the fact we're not putting out new content is sort of gonna hinder us in the next little while until we can get some stuff up. What I have been thinking about doing is, if everybody who is a member is okay with this, is releasing all of the old member videos over a period of time so everybody can watch all of those member videos. So I'm gonna put a poll up. Yes, watching any video that you have watched in the past does help, yep. But if, if, we, if you guys are okay with it, like I said, I'll put up some of the old member videos as well. That, uh, but not the new stuff. The old stuff. So 
So maybe I'll, I'll set a couple of those to go out as scheduled videos. Yeah, because we've been doing we've been doing member videos for quite a while now. Because it'll be new to some and old hat to others. And it'll get you another picture of Lorelin too, so. If I had the lost footage, I'd most definitely put the lost footage out. But because it's lost, I can't put it out, unfortunately. That would be the definition of lost. <laughs> <laughs> Pin hit the floor. It's a good thing my long armor is a professional. This is going to be a little bumpy. <laughs> no, the... <laughs> the loss that we're referring to is due to like hardware or software error technology no failure exists because it's been destroyed by technology it, it absolutely does any anybody watching our content it helps because you know for let, let's put it this way for every thousand views it's a dollar to the channel um, as well as it keeps us relevant in the um, algorithm for quilting so if you watch the videos then we won't disappear off of the the whole thing the other thing heli just posted up was the around the world quilt which is behind me we're doing another one and whether it's me sewing it laura lynn sewing it marcus sewing it all of us sewing it you know that's what uh that's what it was Yeah, it's always fun, isn't it? Recently, we were having a problem just ingesting data off of um, the GoPro, for example, and the content would get corrupted. So, that was fun. As the editor, you, you want your content to be ready and, and working. Uh, is it better to watch sh several short videos or the long 12-hour videos? Whatever you want to watch is all the. As long as you watch something, if you watch it all the way through, even better. I appreciate that, Allison. I look forward to seeing it. Stupid technology, I tell you. It's even more fun when technologies don't work together, like simple things, like lights, at the wrong frequency. Wow, I... <laughs> Time-lapse videos being corrupted is horrible. Yeah. There, was there a recent phone patch that might have done something? Like, as you guys know, we don't use our phones for our cameras, but... Yeah, that's... Usually if something happened, either the app got updated that you're using to record with, or... Um, or your phone itself got updated and they changed how the phone hardware works. Kitty go round. I remember that one actually. Nice.
Yeah, so we started videos in, was it 2017 in February, I believe? It's either 2017 or 2016. And the first video we did, if you go back and watch it now, is really funny to watch. Because Lorlin and I had no idea what we were doing and we were just trying to video this this quilt making for a uh, yeah it, it was hilarious so if you go back to like one of our very first videos you'll see that uh, we didn't always know what we were doing and honestly we still don't but thank you Barbara Jean I've had a good teacher. She taught me how to sew. And then my wife, watching my wife <clears throat> sew for as many years as we have. Oh, there wasn't any faking it, Mike. We were just doing something. <laughs> keep trying, keep pushing. The more you do, the more you get better at it, the less fear you have in it. Laura Lynn was at the point where she was just rattling off videos in the last you know, few years. She just rattles off a video and she's like, here, just go edit it. And I go, chop, 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 done. So we got to a point where she was so adept at it. Nine and a half by nine and a half is the size for the uh, around the uh, world quilt. It makes me pee. Watching any skill is how apprenticeships work. Oh, and sweeping up the floor. <laughs> well, I've done enough sweeping. Yeah, you have. <laughs> I don't mind being an apprentice for the rest of my life. If she's there to be the master, so. Isn't that the person, Heli, who uh, who the apprentice learns from? Is the master? <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. And sorry for the, the the timer thing there that keeps going off with both entries in it. We'll get that fixed. I, I tried putting up space before. That's great, Vicky. I hope you get some good food. Since you're into technology, what do you think of all this AI stuff? Well, I actually think that AI has its place for a lot of different things. I think Pop tries to play innocent. Wonder where he gets that from. Uh, I'm not trying to play innocent. I am innocent. I don't know what you're talking about. What would I be guilty of? I am innocent. I have done nothing wrong, I, and you can't prove it. I'm doing my best to sew straight lines. It's okay, I got it. You just sit there. I was reading chat. 
was so much fun. What? Lasagna. What you were I being like it a lot. incriminated Lasagna. of. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious as to what I've been incriminated up to. I don't have eyes on the back of my head. Nope. So this is 32. That sounds tasty. Sewing lines is fine, snorting them is not. <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of specific, Mike. Are you you telling us something? You, do you have a problem? We do. We need to do an intervention. <laughs> what did I say? Not good. I do have eyes in the back of my head. I am not a teacher. No lines here, okay. Aren't you a trucker? There's lines all over the place. Houston. Measure thrice, cut once. Mama Harden, thank you for your comment. Um, interesting. That is interesting. And maybe that is what the issue is. We don't know yet. Stitches don't do lines, we sew lines. I wonder if that's like Uline's thing. this is we're gonna be off like by a half an inch I think on this one not exactly a half inch it's very close to a quarter inch though Yes, the Around the World quilt is nine and a half by nine and a half. And the link is somewhere. Just use a rubber eraser? What? Sometimes I worry about you people. What's a rubber eraser going to do? It's good enough for government work, yeah. <laughs> Too true. Ugh. All these painful things. Oh, to remove the excess lines, no. No excess lines. Just no lines. I can imagine that sounds incredibly scary.
Well, we're hoping we'll get answers soon. See, there's the link. The link is there. Anybody else who wants to join in? Make Lorelin's day when she gets the mail? She doesn't get the mail. The mail comes to us, but yeah, you know what I mean. And then we give her the mail. Exactly. Therefore, she gets the mail. Yes. Remove the excess with the rubber eraser. But that could get you into other problems. So let's talk about happy things. Like Easter's coming. Who's excited for Easter? Well, <laughs> it's a day off. I mean, well, <laughs> it's fun to watch new people who don't work in, haven't worked in an industry for a long time, and they don't know when their vacation days are, or Easter days, or vacation holidays, that kind of stuff. And they're like, we get, a ho we get a day off. I have this with people in my teams <laughs> all the time. Well, that's kind of cool. An Easter truck. Linda Lindsay. So nice of you to join me today. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Even if you are trying to bait me. But I will not fall to it today. Sorry. I'm working hard here. Got to focus. And I'm hardly working. <laughs> <laughs> Found edible grass. People get holidays off, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. A. I'll let the people in chat who know what the real food for pizza is. So, so Vicky, did you just go grab some girl off the street and put dresses and, and stuff on her, or did you actually have someone specific you did that for? Because it seems a little crazy if you did it just to random people. <laughs> just that entire concept. Ah, <laughs> uh, see? You had two girls. But still... Would you have done it to strangers if you didn't have the two girls? This is the question, right? And I, I love the fact that you can't see me while I'm standing here, but... Well, you were working. I am working. <laughs> How is it my fault you suddenly turned it that way? It's, it's okay. It's okay, Kelly. Eh? <laughs> you stop talking with your hands. I talk with my hands. be entertaining if it was done to random people. I'm not so sure. I think there would be like people getting, you know, very upset about that fact. At least now. Maybe not 10 years ago. And you are so welcome, Marcus, for whatever it was that you were welcome for. I think Canadian might be a bit, uh... Behind? Yeah. Nadia, make sure that you, uh, refresh. You're a bit behind, I think. They don't dress kids up in bonnets these days. Why is that? Save us from this man cave atmosphere. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know whether I like that heli. Go back to the middle. Yeah, there's a little, yeah, I know it's short, but thanks. When I stretch it, it'll go. We'll stretch it into place. It's gonna be wavy and the long armor is gonna have to fix it, so.
yeah, gone are the days where we, uh, yeah, see, now that's bothering me, I'm going to have to try and do something with it. The word is ease, not stretch. <laughs> <laughs> stretch! Got to pull hard on it. It'll work. Yeah, I mean, maybe you just go, everybody has to, who's interested in that stuff has to go back to the Amish way of life. Put the long side on the feed dogs. It's all long side. So you're saying words now that don't make sense to me. Anyway, they probably do to you. I have a computer question. Is it re easy to replace the screen on a laptop? Um, generally, it's not recommended you try and get the screen replaced. They'll take you for more than the cost of a new laptop. the rule is if if it doesn't fit use more pins it'll fit cool here in Ontario. Well, I think we've got the loose side on the on the feed dogs, so no worries. It, it'll either work or it won't, and like I said, our long armor will fix it. <laughs> Sophie's doing well. She's just moping. Moping, keeping guard of, of mom. Yep, she's on her bed in the bedroom right now. Rain. The heater's doing well too. Did yeah. You hear it? It was jealous. We weren't talking about the heating anymore because we're coming into the spring and it hasn't been on all that frequently. So it needed to get its comments in. Women take care of all problems. Not 100% accurate. I will say women take care of a large number of problems. Missing Sophie too. Well, maybe next week we can bring Sophie out. Yeah, if it was a cheap laptop, Valerie, just replace the laptop. It doesn't make sense to, to spend, uh, spend a whole lot of money on it. Yeah, it is possible to replace <laughs> your laptop screen on your own. It's just, it's not an easy process. Yeah, we can see if she wants to come out next next weekend. And who knows, maybe Laura Lynn will feel better next weekend. She can come out. We can all hope. Exactly, you can stretch the fabric so much further because your long armor you can take care of it, right? Oh, by the way, Laura Lynn is just rolling her eyes right now. I can, I can feel it from here.
It's all good. <laughs> Absolutely, Allison. Thank you, Paula. And I hope you feel better as well. A absolutely. Absolutely, Heli. You can feel the staring through the walls, out through the, the gap between the two buildings and in through this wall here. I can feel it already. Yeah, we're not washing until it's long-armed. <laughs> Almost done. This side. Not a straight seam. Perfect. <laughs> Once it's washed, the waves will disappear. We'll see. I can be hopeful. See, we got there in the end. The machine just sort of worked it all out for us. See? You can be happy with that. It's not horrible. That looks great now. So now we have to go into the iron thing again, apparently based on the, the rules or something. Well, I know it's on. Hey, can you make sure the iron's on for me? It's on. Okay, perfect, thanks. Who's Ken? Did some, somebody else named Ken start working here? Don't see anyone. The other window? Yeah. The one over there? No. No, that one. Because that's, if he's over there, he's doing really well because he's got to be about eight feet tall. <laughs> Ken and Barbie. Not me. <laughs> it's a little wavy, but who knows? It's an optical illusion, it's not wavy. <laughs> had to do with what I had available to me and the knowledge I have available. My alter ego, uh-oh. I have an alter ego. That's dangerous. I don't need an. I don't need any other egos. The one I have is more than enough. That's gonna make that joke. I'm afraid it's gonna get punched. <laughs> well, if you made the joke, or you might have. <laughs> Everybody do the wave. Exactly. As we well know, done is better than perfect. And perfect is not something an apprentice needs to be. They just need to practice.
and we're just having fun like this is this is about having a good time with you guys and if it turns into a quilt that can be used great if it turns into something that can't be used it'll be not used but it'll get used I don't know how to take that statement at all. In Denmark, we would say Kent is ear bitching inviting. Language. Ear bitches, sorry. Still, language. <laughs> I, I don't understand that sentence. It's only meant as love. Oh, that's great. If, if I don't understand it, I'll take it with love then. So one half of the big one done. It's gonna be a nice little, nice sized lap quilt. Sure, nice try. <laughs> <laughs> Should we put it on and then cut it off without measuring it just to see Lorelin squirm? I think that's what we're going to do this time. Just because I can. A little bit of entertainment value. And if you do it this way, you work from the inside out. Oh, I see. It's not really me getting lost for words. I have lots of words. I just choose not to use them at the time. I'm trying not to get flustered. Words are hard. Ask anybody. It's coming to net gather nicely. It is. It is. Don't do this at home, people. We are almost done. Well, this phase, anyway. Congratulations, Pauline. What kind of puppy? Oh, Helly, you worry too much. <laughs> yes, one, one flimsy almost completed, and it only took six hours. Told you it was going to be a while. I wish I could help, Irish lady. I don't remember anything about cornerstones. Such a horrible person. I know what they are. That's a good thing. Hi, Denise. So fetch 33. All the thumbs up for the peoples. We appreciate the thumbs up. If they can't take a joke, 
They're on the wrong channel, most definitely. Oop, losing that chair. See, when I don't want it to roll, it rolls fine. When I do want it to roll, not so much. There we go. Vodka break. What? You guys can have vodka. I was having water. <laughs> well, okay. Um, sure. I'm going to actually... Oh, I'm not sure, Mike. I'm sure it was nothing too serious. What? What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Are you worried about something? No. Oh, that's good. These are fabric scissors. I am allowed to use these for what they're being used for at the moment. At least as far as I know. If not, <laughs> I will hear about it. Perfect. Like it was never done properly at all. I was going to, Linda, but I chose not to. Because it's my prerogative, it's my quilt. We make Marcus cry, it's okay. He'll get over it. It was just because I was, the, I'm just cutting the starting size here. I'm not crying, I'm laughing. <laughs> Tears of joy then. Hi everyone, just popped in to say hi and give thumbs up. Daughter and a couple of her friends are staying over the night, uh, ready for her baby shower tomorrow. Nice. Thank you for the love. Thanks for the thumbs up. Marcus is your organic labor saving device. Put it to work. Oh no. Now I'm just here for sassy commentary and forget to swap cameras. <laughs> I like the idea. But I'm afraid the implementation is, is going to probably be a little issue. not happy with that. So we're going to start again. Or maybe just move it back a little bit. Is that god awful tool? 
Are you grabbing what I think you're grabbing? No, because I can't find it. <laughs> hmm. Scissors. That's what I'm grabbing. <laughs> Yes, I'm not happy with how the seam went on this one, so I'm I'm applying some creative license and redoing it. The fabric slid and there's about a quarter of an inch, inch of slide. Seam ripper exactly. Where's the eye? I, I don't know. If I knew where it was, I would use it, but I couldn't see it readily, so you know, time being of the essence and all things. You gonna sing the song? Sing the song? No, this isn't a seam ripper, it's a pair of scissors. It's more like a seam cutter. Chat's demanding the we song. We need to hear the song. There it is. It's right in chat. And if you keep up the commentary, you're going to be singing the song. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Sing the song. Seam Ripper, Seam Ripper, you're my best friend. Seam Ripper, Seam Ripper, right to the very end. See? It's okay, I got you, chat. <laughs> there we go. Can you do a quick recap? Uh, I know you already talked about LL, uh, but I just came on. Uh, yeah, Laura Lynn has good days and Laura Lynn has bad days, and today has been a particularly not good day yep so she is recovering or just relaxing and trying to recover as much strength as she can she cannot keep food down uh, is very very um, ill most of the time and unfortunately we still have no answers hopefully soon though Hi Cheryl, thanks for coming. <laughs> yes, I know it's still ripping a seam, I get it. I'm sorry I let everybody down, except myself. And I'm proud of myself, because I <laughs> actually seam ripped it, so. Whatever, drunk monkey. Thank you, Pam. And things are not okay with Laurelin. We just don't know what they are yet. Welcome, hi. My Quilt Project. Yeah, hi, My Quilt Projects. We're trying to, to keep everything flowing here at the quilt shop. Ow, that hurt. Pins. Sharp. May I suggest not poking yourself with them? Thank you. Thanks. I, I learned it from uh, some sage advice that was, that was given to me earlier this stream. Yes. <laughs> Along with how to turn on the iron. Super multitasking today. No such thing as multitasking. In humans, we only task switch. But thanks. That's a trigger, by the way. If anybody wants to comment on that, that is one of my triggers. There is no such thing as multitasking. 
Because clearly I can't sew and talk at the same time. It's a digital download only, Samantha. And it's a... Uh, Leap is a first fast-paced first-person shooter game. Where you have uh, things like a grappling hook and hoverboard and... There's even a robotic moose that can fly. It's actually kind of cute. And now you admit it. <laughs> Kinda. Still want my skin, uh, not the rocket. Or I want the rocket, not the skin. I could day a lot on that topic, Kent, but I will keep it inside, trying not to choke on it. Okay. I hope. Good luck. I hope you have fun with that. But I'm more than happy to debate it at any point in time with anyone. Thanks, Samantha. That's awesome. Yes, thank you very much. What's happening here? Um, we were just talking about uh, Marcus's game, company's game that they're uh, that they've launched. That's what's happening, Allison. Oops, you didn't see that. Did you just sew over a pen? Quite literally, I sewed over it. Oh, I see. I see how it is, Allison. Just not paying attention. <laughs> how Al saw it? I'm sure she did. And she'll be like, I keep doing it too. Don't worry about it. Feed dog going all over the place. I didn't sing this song. I'm rebelling. Rebelling against the peer pressure. One more line of sewing. The shame. Oh no. No shame at all. That's the problem. No shame at all. Shameless. Shameless. Not to be confused with Seamus. We're gonna do it the same way. Just to drive Laurelin nuts. And me. <laughs> Everybody who's looking at me going, this is triggering. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, you know, there was nothing but drama here. It's all Laura Lynn's fault, though. How is it her fault? She's the drama. Ask anybody, they'll tell you. <laughs> I 
Hi, Judy. Judy, she is not doing any better than she was last time we talked about it. But uh, we're hoping for news on how we can get it better in the next few days. Or oh, apparently there's a car full of people coming up and a angry Australian. Your quilt, your process. Yep, exactly. Thank you, Judy. Appreciate it. All we can do is keep upbeat and keep positive thoughts. Pinning like a pro. Drama, 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 drama. Do you have enough thread in the bobbin? We'll, we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> Yay, bobbin chicken. Let's put it this way. I won't be doing another project with this bobbin. <laughs> From what I can see. See, everybody agrees with you. So it must be true. So what are we having for dinner tonight? Uh, Did we take anything out? I don't know. I made the decision yesterday. Actually, there was no decision made. We had both. Actually, I did make a decision, and then you told me you wanted the other thing. Yeah. So I decided why not both. Exactly. We had both. So so we're, we're in the car, and we're like, where do we want to go for dinner? And he's like, it doesn't matter. We'll just, you know, there's two choices that I'm interested in. Whatever the hubby goes and gets. That sounds about right. Um... So I, you know, silly, sillily enough said, well, let's go to KFC and then on the way back we can get the Wendy's. Do I know how to thread a bobbin? I'm pretty sure I can figure it out. <laughs> I'm a smart feller. Is LL okay to be left alone on her own? Um, before or after the illness? <laughs> that was the bad thing. It was funny. Oh, it was funny, but... But yes, yeah, she's okay to be left on her own. I'm wicked. <laughs> I am not wicked. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get in trouble later. We'll see. But the good news is she can't run fast enough to catch me, so I'm okay. Don't worry about me, people. I'll be fine. Fear is real. No. I'm sure there's nothing that will happen here. <sighs> Sorry, LL, we're really trying here. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're saying there, Heli. What are you saying? Huh? 
I'm confused. And here, I thought you were on my side. Well, the thing is, is she'll do it when I go to sleep, so. If she's gonna, if she's gonna try, so. Wait, be both of us. <laughs> well, see, the thing is, is if she says, go beat your child. Uh. I have to do what she says because she's sick, right? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of thread are you using to piece quilt? This is um, white thread, and I don't know what it is because it was uh, something that uh, was in the, the machine before I got to it. <laughs> it should be entertaining though. As I keep saying to Sasselet, don't threaten me with a good time. Anyway, right now she'd have problems finding the sheets because I have all the the clean laundry on the bed, so. <laughs> Last seam, so it seems. Assuming I do it right. Allison, you're so far behind, you can't multitask clearly. Please don't listen to your father. Better talk to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, Helly, that's probably true. How is LL doing? She's in bed resting right now. Not getting any better. Some days are good, some days are bad. Mike. <laughs> well, Mike, when you've got five loads or six loads, it needs to go on the bed because you can't all leave it in the dryer at the same time. Consciously multitasking is not doable. There are subconscious actions that can be done which make it possible. <laughs> Fold. Ha! <laughs> What's that? Yeah, con conscious actions are simply switched, which is tax task switching. Yep, I'm amazing. I've learned how to task switch so well that I'm doing it incredibly quickly. Sewing and talking at the same time. And it's only through extreme amounts of practice that I'm able to do it. Either that or the quality of my work is dropping drastically as I'm talking. Which is probably true too. There's a, there's a story in there somewhere, Cheryl, for, that I'll tell you later on another day. I do have a great teacher. She's amazing. She taught me some of the things I know. And will teach me some of the things I don't know later. 
No need for folding, just reuse the same set of sheets over and over and over again. Yep, pretty much. Send her my love. Will do, definitely. Um, Kathleen, a strong uh, probiotic. Uh, yeah, she is getting that with what she's taking now. We do have a spare sheet, Heli. It goes, it, it's in, it's in the closet, so. So dancing. A list of things I will not be doing. You're doing one of them. All at the same time. Huh. And there we have the quiltage. The quiltage is complete. Yay. I think it's complete. Does it look complete to you? Yeah. Should I show them? Yeah, probably. Oh, oh. Did you guys want to see this? I don't know. Yeah, let's, let's stand up. There we go. It's complete and it looks nice. I'm happy with it. I closed my eyes. All right. Okay. Yeah. Good for somebody who doesn't know how to see. Or or so. So we almost we're almost finished. We forgot to do two things. Well, we didn't forget. We just didn't do them yet. First one. Okay. Apply a shortening device. Hopefully in a straight line. But then again, that's the long armor's problem. Every time you say that, I just imagine my morning just pop you in the chops. Well, uh, I mean, she can, she can want to do that. She wants. She still has to catch me, right? And I welcome her to try. Because that'll mean she's feeling better. Again, you squared up. Yep, sure. Sounds good, Mike. Something I might do, maybe. Sure that's a rectangle. <laughs> yeah, Mike is talking about the act of applying a square to the sides. I know. To make the sides be straights and the corners straights with them. What will it be bound with? Fabric. That's what we're going to bind it with. I have. Kathleen, the question is, is it the dark side? Uh, Denise Sopatch, you should go back and look. I actually know how to long arm. <laughs> we have videos of me actually showing people how to do stuff on the long arm. I've even been to gamble training, believe it or not. So, you're be in for a treat. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but it'll be interesting. And I have to talk to the boss first, so, about getting, uh, access. Permission. Looks like three yards of... Of lit. No dark side here. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, so, <laughs> we have, I think, 900 videos on the channel. So, you have a few to go back on. While you're ironing, you should be thinking of backing and binding. Multi-thinking. Okay. 
Perfect. Multi thinking. It's the cousin to multitasking, right? Final two steps done. I'm just thinking about lunch. That's good. Not sure what lunch has to do with the quilt, but. So there we go, all done. Everything's good. Seems like it'll work, yeah? Yeah. Looks like it'll fit across my lap, so. It'll fit across me, it'll fit across her. Just like invisible peas. No, they're a thing. Just ask anyone. They're a thing. Invisible peas. I'm wondering what we should do for the backing. Uh, she said she wanted flannel, which means we have to go to the store. So yeah, it's gonna be a flannel back and I'm not sure when that's gonna happen because Lorelin gets to pick it, so. Maybe the next time we go to the hospital. Cause it's, yeah, I've been in, I've been in there, um, Allison, at least once, exactly once. Thank you very much. So my first quilt for somebody rather than just a race. Thank you, Jen. We really appreciate that when you go and uh, do stuff like that. That's amazing. It'll help us keep in the algorithm. So yeah, this is, this is the lap quilt. I hope she likes it. I know that uh, she was actually relatively impressed. Some of my points are actually good. Good start. In the future, we'll do something different, and maybe it will. Uh, we'll even stream it. Now it's Marcus's turn. Nope, not gonna happen. I guarantee you that. In so many ways. Pretty good quote. No, on stream. Technically. 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 Who did the sewing? Uh, both me and mom. Yes, so you didn't make a quilt all by yourself yet. Uh, no, I wanted it to look nice. And if I Thank you, Melissa. Myself, I appreciate that. <laughs> Mom, better hurry up and get well. You're taking, <laughs> doing well on the streams. No, I'm not the, I'm not the, the star. I'm just here to backfill. And yes, we want Laurelyn to be better to, to come and share her knowledge and love of this craft with you guys some more. So I hope you understand that, uh, that she really wants to be here. She just uh, can't be here right now. So thank you, Gwenny. I appreciate that. So thank you, everybody. It's almost three hours. Uh, so we're going to take off and uh, go make sure that the boss is okay and uh, we will definitely send all of your love her way and thank you very much for all of the support that you've given us over the last two streams it's been amazing we now have to figure out a 12-hour stream so we'll let you know as soon as we get that figured out um, but we'll see you soon and thank you and loves to everybody big hugs <laughs>